Hello guys, Messenger of Death here, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Julius of the Roses. Now it is a Sunday, so we know that is the day that I do my classic games from in the old era. And next we will be going up against Tristan apparently after defeating Taya last episode. So Tristan, it's time to go. Hold it, you're the one they call the Julius, right? If you want to go any further, you'll have to face me and my Crab Walker strategy. Crab Walker strategy. Meaning? Hmm. Okay. That's an interesting terrain. Very well. Now then, let's see what cards I have at my disposal, shall we? Ah, wonderful. A wasteland card. That'll be very handy indeed. And I shall end my turn. Now, let's transform some more of the field to my advantage. Because why not? You know? And... Hmm. This seems like a fun little fellow. Now what will you do, Tristan? For you see, my victory is inevitable. Nice try. Let's see how you will like to deal with my great moth. The Coon of Evolution. Very wonderful indeed. Now then, I shall end my turn. Crab Walker, eh? Not seeing much of a strategy here. Ooh, would you look at that? Another Wasteland card. Looks like it is my fortunate day today. So, you're trying to avoid my cards, I see. Well, let's transform some more of the terrain to my advantage, shall we? Very good. Now, very nice. I think it's time I play a very special card, Tristan. I'm sure you recognize it. It's the Blue Eyes White Dragon. What do you have to stand up to me, I wonder? Anything at all? Because I see a sniveling coward who can't do anything to stop me. Uh, yeah, graveyard and a hand of invitation to transform my creatures into a zombie type. Which means they'll get the benefit of being buffed by my lovely, wonderful Punking the King of Ghosts. You can try to flee if you wish. I really don't mind. What could you possibly do to me? Nothing. <laughs> now. Hmm. Another pumpkin, eh? I feel like it's about time I try to trigger something of yours. Let's see what cards you have laying in wait. Ooh. Guardian of the Throne Room. I've never seen that card before. Very interesting. And what can it do? Hmm. That is a shame. And it seems I took some damage to my life points. But I'm afraid you are now spellbound. <laughs> and my great moth begins to evolve. Now then, why don't I move here? And I'll place a nice card right around here. And I shall just give you a bit of a chance, because I'm feeling a bit generous today. I'm feeling a bit generous. Or maybe I just want to completely embarrass you, who knows? But would you look at that? I now have a great moth. So... That also means I am at my limit for cards. 
Now, Pumpkin, move forward and destroy his pale beast. Enjoy the noxious pumpkin bread. bit disappointed. I thought maybe you might pose a little bit of a challenge, but it seems you were just all talk. Now then. I think you've had enough chances. It's time to move in. Let's see. What card? Ooh, isn't that handy? Is it me, or do I have another Pumpkin the King of Ghosts? Seems I definitely do. Are you going to attack the card in front of you, Tristan? I'd very much like it if you did. No. Okay. Very well, then. Ah, I'm on a non-wasteland space. That is a shame. For you, that is. Because now I have to be called the Haunted, transforming all my creatures into zombies. Now. Great Moth, destroy his deep sea shark. Oh, yes. Isn't it wonderful? It's a very powerful creature, of course. Oh, was that victory? That was over rather quick. I only just started to go on the offensive. You don't really have any cards I'd be interested in, Tristan. I'm not even going to waste my time trying to line something up. In fact, I don't think there's anybody in this whole entire game who can stop me. I don't believe it. You beat the crap out of me. Very funny. I get it. I get it. Hmm. Ooh, my. No pun intended. <laughs> Very well. So you're the one who betrayed those who summoned you. I guess I'll have to show you the error of your ways. Is that right, my? And I'll have to show you the error of thinking you can stand up to me. Oh, a mountainous terrain. You have such an advantage here. Whatever shall I do? Oh, wait. I know exactly what I will do. I will hold for now. And I will send a card forward. Now then, what will you do, my? Let me guess. Summon your harpy lady. No, actually, I will move forward. Then I'll throw this down. Then I'll move this up. Very nicely. And yes, I shall end my turn. Ooh, trying to run. Ooh, Harpy's pet dragon. Fearsome indeed. And that is a problem, because I'm about to take a big hit to my life points. Ah! How could this be? It hurts! That's funny! Got 100 of my life points! But are you also lose your creature! Mwahaha! And seeing as we are running, it seems... I don't quite appreciate the fleeing. I will move my money to bug one over. And I will move my wasteland over. And I'll start to control the battlefield. That sounds like a great idea. 
Now then. Seems I am on the uh, back end here, and I may lose. This is a problem. Monster reborn. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. That is not good. However, things aren't exactly to your advantage this time, Mai. For I shall power my creature, move it towards you. And I shall move my money to bug up. Now, Mai, what will you do? I'm curious. Ah, <gasps> oh, such a shame. <laughs> Now then, I wonder what might be hiding under here? Only one way to find out, I suppose. Nothing. What about here? Oh, is that your pet dragon? It dealt a heavy ball to me last time, but I'm pretty sure it's my turn to return the favour. Mm. It is indeed. <laughs> No, it's a shame, Mai. If that is all you have, I'm afraid you automatically lose. It's not the strongest creature, is it? Oh, I'm spellbound for a turn, eh? Okay. That is fine. Ooh. Trying to run, are we? Let's, um... Uh... Put a wee bit of a stop to that one. I feel like that'd be great. And now, I summon my blue eyes! Curse breaker. That does nothing, I'm afraid. Though I will move away, because you can place a creature here to deal damage to my life points. Like so. Yes, I don't think so. Mesmeric control. Ah, I see, I see. But now I deal points to you directly. Fiend's hand. Money to bug. Do it. Blue eyes. Finish her. White lightning. And victory is mine. Hmm. Rather easy, if you ask me. That was hardly a challenge at all. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, almost got a full lineup. That that would have been great. Sadly, didn't happen. We only had fourteen minutes, and I've already gone through two of you. Hmm. Who's into the likes of you makes my skin crawl. You shall not be so lucky when you reach the continent, for Yugi and his followers are a force to be reckoned with. Is that right, Mai? I will take that card from you now. Ooh, a dark, eh? Then let's make our way to Dover. Hmm. If you're looking for a boat to take you to the continent, climb aboard. All right, landlubber. If you want to reach the continent, you have to face me in a duel. Me? My name is Mako, card mercenary of Britan Britannia. Britannia. At sea, you're in my element. I've been waiting for you to cross my path. Defeat me, and I shall deliver you to the shores of Bulagon. A baloney. Whichever one. I don't know. I've got nothing against you, but I've been paid well to ensure you never reach the continent. And I intend to keep my end of the bargain. Is that right, Mako? Fine. The deep sea duelist, eh? As I told you, the sea is my element. You haven't got a chance. I will be the one to decide on that one. Now then, let us have a wee little look at our hand. A very interesting one, to be fair. Hmm. Very well. 
It is unfortunate that we're in your element, but I'm not too worried. Not at all. Oh, to me. Ooh. Very well. Now, let us see the denizens of the deep. A powerful monster, eh? You may be stronger, but I'm afraid your aqua dragon is about to suffer a grave fate. Oh, my life blinks. It hurts. But as I said, Mako, you may have taken down one card, but now you are permanently spellbound and unable to act with that card. And no defense mode for you. Now then, what should I do? I know exactly what I should do. I activate Monster Reborn to bring back my snake hair. Now then, what card have you under here? Nothing. How terribly disappointing. Yes, you may wish to flee, if you can. No, not another man-eating black shark. No. How could this be? Your denizens of the deep are too much for my creature. I will never win at this rate. But, did you not realize the same thing will happen once again? That is two monsters permanently spellbound. I'm fine taking the damage to my life points. Now. It is time we had some fun. How about I move another card further up, eh? Ooh, a power increase, huh? That simply will not do, Mako. Interesting. Well, you seem to have had quite the advantage thus far, Mako. But I'm afraid that's about to turn around in my favour. Now, Wasteland Terrain! Now what will you do, hey, Mako? But your precious sea to aid you. What hope do you have? Oh dear, oh dear me. Moving in on me. Is that right? Then allow me to indulge you. Attack me if you dare. But let it be known that I have some denizens of the deep myself. In the channels they lurk and wait. And they destroy your card for free. <laughs> you stand no chance, Mako, I'm afraid. You are truly out of your element, my friend. Hmm. Now then. What next, Mako? Do you dare attack or are you going to cower and wait? <gasps> oh dear. It's too strong. Whatever shall I do? The Fury Seeking transform more into sea terrain, giving you the advantage. Oh no. My life points. Ah. I will not go to the Shadow Realm yet, though. Definitely not, my friend. Oh dear. But now, I'm afraid things turn in my favour, Mako. For you see... Say hello! 
That was uh, an interesting trick. So parts of the opponent summoning an area when this card is flipped face up. When this card is flipped face up in battle, the battle is cancelled. Interesting. No, not my money, a bug. You're Akihiron. What a formidable foe. But I'm in defense mode, so my life points are safe. But it looks like your creature has a big boob on its face. Actually, it looks like it was a creature that had sex with a creature from Star Wars. Oh, my life points! No! Blue Eyes, destroy him! Now, Blue Eyes, White Lightning! Destroy my foe! See, Mako, you never truly stood a chance. My creatures are too powerful for you to handle. Now, why don't I have some fun? I play Call of the Haunted, transforming my blue eyes into a zombie creature. And I move my Curse Breaker forward so you cannot place down a card. And I shall end my turn. Yes, keep moving towards me, Mako. I appreciate it. But I have an even better foe for you to face now. And your advantage on the field terrain will not save you. Turn, I get stronger. And sure, why not? Your Aqua Dragon is looking quite weak. Allow me to take care of it. Now, Snaker, destroy his Aqua Dragon. What? Why is it unaffected? I was stronger. What is this trickery? Oh dear, seems I am in trouble. Fine. Space occupiers transform to sea terrain when engaged in battle. I guess I should have read your card. But you will not be getting the chance to attack me and defeat me in battle, I promise you that much, my friend. I may be on the back burner now, but you're just wasting time. A power increase. Ah, oh, it's a shame. Curse Breaker ended the effect. Now then. Destiny Draw. I summon Raigeki. Destroy his cards. Now all your monsters are defeated. For the most part. Hmm. 
Hmm. Now, what to do? That is the question. Hmm. What hidden effect does your card have? No special ability? Hmm. What about your man-eating black shark? This is even weaker. No hidden ability. Very well. Blue eyes! Destroy his man-eating black shark! Hit it with a white lightning! I believe the jewel is my Mako. He was a formidable opponent. Very challenging indeed. And you almost won. But I'm afraid that will not be enough. Very well. Ugh! You are something else. I never dreamed I'd lose a jewel on the sea. I guess a promise is a promise. I'll deliver you to the shores of Baloney. Success. You've entered France. Joey is next, huh? Then Joey will be my next opponent, but I will be ending today's episode here. The first two were really easy, not really much of a challenge. The Mako one almost got me from a silly mistake for just not reading a card. Literally almost cost me the whole entire duel. But that was fun, and I like it that I actually got a challenge there. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.